Do you want to convert your basic table visual to an amazing visualization in Power BI without using any custom visual? Then this video is for you. Because I am going to demonstrate how can we transform our native visuals to the next level. Let's create it from scratch. All right. I have this small data set which records daily team's attendance. And I have created this visual with the help of my simple measure, which calculates the attendance percentage for the team on daily basis. Now, in order to transform this simple table visual into this type of visuals, we can't just use basic formatting features. And we need to use some special technique. In this demo, I am going to create a DAX measure, which will automatically take care of everything. So without a further ado, let me create the measure. So, I will click on new measure. This measure name I can keep as new attendance percent. I will break down this measure into few parts so that it will be easy to understand. Since I am going to use SVG codes inside this measure, let me define its encoding. Now go to this website. Here you can find SVG codes for all these basic elements. First of all, I need a rectangle. So I will copy this piece of code from here and paste it inside my DAX measure. Since this is a DAX expression, I need to replace all these double quotes to single quotes before I start adding dynamic elements to this measure. Let's use this measure in our visual and see how it looks. So I will remove my existing measure and use this new measure. And I can see just bunch of codes inside my visual. To make this working, I need to define the data category of this measure as image URL. All right, let's move further. And let me set the width and height of my image to 700. Now, my first variable is for the width of the bars. So my variable name is underscore bar width. First attach the literal. And further expression is pretty simple. Here, it will validate. If sum of total attendance is blank, or it is holiday, it will use full width, which is 700. Else, bar width is 50. Again, close it with single quote, so that this expression will be used as text. Now in the return statement, I need to change the width of this rectangle from this static number to the bar width variable. Let's use the height as 500, x position as zero, y position also as zero. I will make this color also dynamic, but let's see how it looks now. Okay, for all working days, we see thin bars at the left side, and for holidays, the field is completely colored. Next, let's use dynamic colors for these bars, and then we will add other elements. All right, since this variable is for color, I can name it as underscore color. Again, I will start with a single quote. Then I will write, switch true. Here I will validate. If attendance percent is blank, then use this hex code, which is for light blue. If attendance is 100%, then use green color. If it is greater or equal to 80% and less than 100%, then use this amber or yellow color. And finally, if it is less than 80%, then it will show red color. In the last, I need to again close this with a single quote. Now, in order to use it as bar colors, I need to replace this hard-coded blue color with my color variable. Now let's check if it's working or not. Here we have these dynamically colored accent bars inside our matrix visual. Let's go ahead and add other elements. So once again, I will open this website and go for the text element. I will copy the SVG code of it and paste it inside my DAX measure. Let me adjust the X and Y axis. For the color, I will use gray. And for stroke, I will use our dynamic color variable. Along with that, I will adjust the font size as well. And finally, we can replace the static text as our attendance percentage measure, which is formatted as percent. With that, we can see the numbers inside our visual. In the last, I wanted to add some indicators below these values. So again, I will add my final variable. This variable is for the indicators below the values. The expression for this is exactly same as I have written for the color variable. So I can copy that. And then I just need to change the results for each condition. Blank indicates the holidays. 100% attendance means it is full. And for this, we can also use some icons. Similarly, for third condition, I need a yellow circle icon. And then I also need to show how many are absent. So I can write this expression to calculate the difference. And in the last, Attach it with the text. Absent. The same expression we can use for the red icon as well. In the last, add the last text element for the indicator. Here once again, I will adjust all the X and Y values. 
you can change these value to check what is fitting into your visual. For the text field, we can use our newly added indicator variable. With that, we are ready with our solution. If you also see these texts are not fitting, you can adjust the font size or remove any extra spaces. Using such modification on SVG codes, you can create many amazing visuals using table or matrix in Power BI. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.